union workers cannot tie up vessels that are handled by non-unionized Steve Doring companies, but non-unionized workers can tie up vessels handled by the CSA. some late breaking news from the uh, Alabama waterfront. Some late breaking news on the Alabama waterfront. The International Longshore Association Local 1410 have set a new strike date for Tuesday, November 22nd, after a strike date last month was postponed due to federal mediation. Yesterday at noon, the membership voted to move forward with the strike action without further delays after the mediation was abruptly canceled. According to reporting from AL.com, there are three major issues that are causing the holdup in the labor agreement. Line handling, or tying up vessels, retroactive benefits for the last few years, and the number of workers per unit, according to Mark Bass, president of Local 1410. Union workers have uh, want to have sole control over line handling. As it stands right now, union workers cannot tie up vessels that are handled by non-unionized Steve Doring companies, but non-unionized workers can tie up vessels handled by the CSA. Local 1410 wants to line handle all the vessels for the CSA that is contracted to unload, which is uh, which would mean more man hours for its workers, Bass says. This is going to affect 800 800 local 1410 workers down in Mobile. So we'll be keeping an eye on that and maybe getting one of them on the show next week. We'll see. Yeah, absolutely. You just saw a clip from the Valley Labor Report. We are live every Saturday morning from 9.30 a.m. till 12.30 p.m. And we pride ourselves on keeping all of our content free to everybody so that we can talk to as many working folks as possible. If you support the work that we're doing, you think that it's important, you think that it's good, then consider making a monthly contribution to the project, and you can do that on our website, tvlr.fm.